myself, TK Madhu, Selection Grade Lecturer in ENC Department, GPT Tarihal. So today we are going to have a session on using Blink app. So how to control light and fan, two loads we have taken that is fan and light. So now here we have, we have an experiment by name practice design a simple IOT based application using Blink IOT platform. So they are told to design using IOT a simple application. So for that purpose we have taken only two loads. Now here in this for this application I am going to uh, control the light and fan. So for that what are the components required? So here so we can uh, we need node MCU ESP8266 then output of that node MCU should be given to the opto isolators. From opto isolator we have to give to driver circuit. Again from the driver circuit with the help of relays we can make the loads on and off. So coming to the block diagram here we have node MCU where we have also shown Wi-Fi here. So without Wi-Fi no IoT experiments can be done. So it is clearly shown there should be need Wi-Fi here then node MCU ESP8266. So in this we have an inbuilt Wi-Fi module is present in the node MCU. So this is the heart of the IoT experiments or IoT projects. So output of this is given to the driver circuit. So in the driver circuit it consists of optocoupler, Darlington amplifiers and relays. From the relays, relay contacts we can say common and NO with the help of common and NO contacts we can drive the 230 volt bulb and fan. Not only these loads whichever the loads you want you can drive. So coming to the explanation block explanation the node MCU. So it has a node as well as MCU it is a microcontroller unit. So where it consists of both firmware means there will be some software which is downloaded to the IC and along with that hardware will be there. So here and the output of that we are given to the driver circuits. So here in the driver circuit we will have a Darlington amplifiers. The output of Darlington amplifier will be given to the relays. So with the help of relay contacts we can drive the loads. So here loads we are using light and fan. Now we will see this important aspect how to create a dashboard using Blink app platform and also dashboard in the mobile itself. So both we are going to see now how to create that. Okay, now we will see how to create a dashboard in the desktop as well as on the mobile using IoT platform, Blink IoT platform. So now first step click on the Google Chrome and see that your system or laptop should be connected to Wi-Fi or to the internet. Now in the Google type Blink IoT which is already showing here. So click on the URL Blink.io. Now click on start free. Now first you should go to the templates which is on the left top. So new template. So this is the project file or whatever the name you want you can keep it. So now I want to control two loads like fan and light. So I will type it as two loads. So two loads I mentioned here. So now default it is showing the other microcontroller ESP32 but what we are using is ESP8266. So select the ESP8266 and say 
and click on the done. Now after this, go to data streams. Now click on new data stream on the virtual pin. So now here you can type exactly what are the load names you want to control. So now I have typed light and select here virtual pin V0 since the first load. So try to select V0 in this and the remaining default values you can keep as it is like minimum 0, max 1, default 0 here then say create. So now the light is created. Similarly, one more load is required. So click once again on new data stream and select virtual pin. So here you can name it as fan. Then here default it has taken V1. So no need to worry. In case if it has not taken, you have to select as V1. And the remaining default val values will be as it is and say create. Now you can see there are two loads it is created. Now you can go for uh, web dashboard. So now you will find this switch here in the left hand side. Now click on this and drag to the new widget place. So one more switch is required. Once again you can try like this. How many switches you want? You can drag it. So since I am doing it for two loads, so I have taken two switches here and go to settings. Now you can choose light and click on save. Or even if you want to type also, you can type here be fan. So fan. So then click on save. So now click on save. So click on search now. So you will find the device, new device. So click on this and click on this template from template. So two loads you have to choose here, then say create. So now you have find some code here. So this you have to click on this or you can drag and copy and you have to paste it on the your IOT program. So here the first three lines should be replaced with the whatever it has been generated in the dashboard. Now you can compile this. So now the taskbar shows the percentage of compiling here. Now done compiling, it is showing done compiling. Okay, now, now, now I am going to download the program to this node MCU board which is connected with the opto isolator, driver circuit and relays. So before going to that, you see go to device manager. And you have to click on the ports after the other devices, click on this ports and you will find here USB enhanced serial CH9102 COM3. So our board has been dated COM3. So when you are selecting in the tools, go to tools. So you have to go to the port. So in this COM3 you have to select it. So this is very important. So now you can click on upload button. Now the program will be downloaded to your 
node MCU. Now I am clicking on the upload. Now it is showing compiling sketch after, yeah, it has been, it is downloading now. And you can see the percentage of downloading here, 84 percent, 92 percent, 100 percent. So done uploading. Now I will minimize the program and I will open the dashboard of Blink IoT. So this is our project where we created with two loads. Now I am going to click on this. And you can see the two loads beside that there is online, it has to be online. Suppose if it is showing offline, so you have to understand that your device is not connected to the internet. So it is online, it is showing and even if you create your uh, whomever the login ID is there, their name also it will show here. Now click on this light button, so now you can see. I am clicking on the switch light where the light is on. So the relay is getting on. So now the relay is off. Again I am clicking on light, the light is on. Now I am click on fan, the one more relay will be energized. Now, the both the devices are on, now fan is on, even the light is on. So like that, we can control independently or both we can make on together. So by connecting to this relay with the help of common and NO, we can connect 230 volt load with the help of this relay contacts. So now, so we shall see the program uh, looping, here SSID, this is the Wi-Fi name you have to give, whichever the Wi-Fi are connected to node MCU and the password of that particular Wi-Fi you have to type it here. So after that, we are using, actually in this program there are four loads, but what I did in the video is two loads. So here, so I am using D2 pin, so whenever the get the signal to make high and when there is no signal to this to make it low. So DT is one load, the if else loop and once again in the second loop I am using D3 to control the load, second load fan on and off I have chosen D3 pin. Similarly if you want more loads you can go for D4 and similarly D5. So here I configured D2, D3, D4, D5 as an output port and here we have to set baud rate for 115200, this is a baud rate where you have to choose because in the Wi-Fi node MCU the baud rate is 115200. So just now we have seen the creation of dashboard which I have also shown as the screenshot for the PPT here. So these are the two devices we have created. So by clicking on this, we can make light and fan on and off. So similarly, if you go for a dashboard in the mobile dashboard, so if you click on this setting button, so these two will appear and you can rename, you can name like light and fan. So just by clicking on this, this is a mobile version mobile dashboard we can call. So by clicking on this, we can make light and fan on and off. So coming to the conclusion, so with the help of Blink app, dashboard and mobile dashboard, the light and fan is made on and off successfully. So if you like this video, share, subscribe and give comments.